All right, coming in the Army Corps of Engineers campground again. Here. You see there's people here. Usually there never used to be people here, ever. And all of a sudden we got folks a lot. Is that them there? Did they park right there? Yeah, right there. Oh. in front of us folks off for our wake walk all right we got the dogs Riley Paige dog. Lori oh, there's David the ice is going out there's Joy and Eric Riley, come. dams over there usually there's swans all over the place here but I don't see any this is one of our favorite places to walk this time of year with the whole family. Easter weekend. I think the geese don't like us being around here. They're a little upset. But all the people and the dogs. Is this trail going to be uh, in water? Dog poop. Nope. It's all fine. It's all fine. Ready? Good girl. This way. Ready? Locks open. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, six locks open. This is all the spring melt coming down from up north that they're trying to let go downstream. They control the level here. Nice crystal clear water if you can see the rocks out there. Pretty cool. you can see again how crystal clear this water is. I'll see if I can zoom in on the rocks. But there you're looking through water. And this water in the Cross Lake chain is infested with zebra mussels. Zebra mussels will filter the water, which from an aesthetic standpoint is really good in that it looks really crystal clear. But what it also does is a lot of sunlight gets to penetrate the water and creates more plant growth which can be good and bad uh, also species like walleyes they don't like sunlight they're nighttime feeders so their eyes are made to absorb less daylight better night fish night hunters you know so the clear water lets more light in and forces them deeper during the day during bright sunlight so zebra mussels are kind of good and kind of bad I guess I think people would consider them mostly bad because they're an invasive species and not not from here but sure does make the water clear that's for sure there's my family all down on the little landing down there 
loving life with the dogs. So like I said before, there's six locks open. I've barely seen more than that, rarely. But they're letting all the spring runoff go. That's coming down from up north. And eventually this water will wind up in the Mississippi River and wind up in the Gulf of Mexico. That's how far this water is going to travel from northern Minnesota all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. I'm not quite sure how far, but I'm thinking 10 miles from here is where it joins the Mississippi River. And winds up in the Gulf. Pretty cool, huh? I'm not sure if these are going to show up or not, but if you look at that rock right there, I think those are probably zebra mussels clinging to that rock. They, they have a tendency to cling to hard surfaces. So that rock right there has a lot of zebra mussels on it. As I look around here, I can see zebra mussels and crayfish, but again, you can see how clear this water is. All right, everybody, another beautiful, successful walk at the... Uh, Army Corps of Engineers campground with my family. Got the dam in. Got the dogs a little exercise. Time to go home. We should be having guests pretty soon. So, we are out of here. <laughs>